1e meet my friend in this video we will learn how to describe a friend talk about a friend write about a friend 1 vocabulary read and write the correct name Fiona Emma and Amanda under each picture then listen and check your answers now each name is followed by a short description Fiona is short chubby medium length straight fair hair let's first understand what these descriptions mean first hair hair could be long medium length or short now people could be tall, medium height, or short. What is the difference between long and tall? We usually use tall to describe people or things that are high, like tree, a tall tree, a tall boy, a tall building. Long is used to describe things that are great in length like a long road, a long hair. Long is the adjective length. Length is the noun. Next, we have the build. Some people are chubby, others are slim. Now, it's not nice to say that someone is fat. It's correct, but it's not nice. Chubby is a nicer word chubby or slim good looking or bad looking ugly now ugly is not a nice word bad looking you could say beautiful if it's a girl if it's a boy you could say handsome or good looking for both girls or boys dark hair fair hair now, dark hair means hair close to being black. Fair hair, hair close to being white. Very light in color. Now, hair type. Straight hair, wavy hair, wavy like sea waves, and curly hair, curly. Now read the descriptions and write the name under the picture. Fiona is short, chubby, medium length, straight, fair hair. The only one with fair hair is this girl. She is also chubby and a little bit short. This is Fiona. Emma, good looking, curly hair. Which of the two has curly hair? This is Emma. Amanda is tall and slim, and she's got long, wavy, dark hair. Long, wavy, dark hair. Now, if I hide all the new adjectives, can you name them? Let's try this. Long, medium length, medium length and short. The boy is tall, chubby, and slim beautiful or good looking ugly dark hair fair hair you can say blonde as well straight hair wavy hair and curly hair now look at the pictures and match the opposite adjectives opposite adjectives means the antonyms Put the antonyms together, then listen and check your answers. When you learn new words, it's a good idea to learn any synonyms and or opposites. Synonyms, words with the same meaning, similar meaning. Opposites, antonyms, different meanings, completely different meanings. Learn friendly and unfriendly together, active and lazy together. Friendly is someone who is nice to people, 
unfriendly someone who is rude to people active someone who is energetic enjoys sports and movements lazy someone who enjoys sitting down and doing nothing outgoing someone who enjoys meeting new people shy someone who is nervous around people he doesn't know now i will hide all the words and you say them can you say the adjective friendly unfriendly active lazy outgoing shy Speak. Say three sentences describing one of your classmates. I want you to pick one of your classmates, like Sandy, as an example. Describe her in three sentences. Use these adjectives. Talk about her personality and appearance. Appearance, what she looks like. Personality, what she is like. Is she friendly, active, to the class, including one sentence which is not true. So you say three sentences, two true sentences and one not true sentence. And your classmates must find what is not true about this person. Like this, you say, Sandy has got blue eyes, that's one. A long, straight, dark hair, that's two. She is very friendly, three. What is not true? Oh, Sandy has got brown eyes, not blue eyes, dark brown eyes. Three, speak and write. A teenage magazine, magazine that is for teenagers invites its readers, asks its readers to write about their friends. Read what Rob Fabregas wrote. This was written by Rob Fabregas about his friend. In which paragraph we have one, two paragraphs. In which one? One or two? Can you find information about the following? Marco's personality. What he is like. Is he shy? Is he friendly, unfriendly? Marco's appearance. What he looks like. Curly brown hair. What Rob and Marco do together. The things they do together. Who Marco is. Now read. My best friend's name is Marco. He is 13 years old. That's who Marco is. Paragraph 1. 1. And he is short, slim, curly brown hair, brown eyes. That's his appearance. Also, paragraph 1. Okay, what is in paragraph 2? He is shy, clever, smart, helpful. He loves to help and he likes sports. That's his personality. Mm, now continue. We always have a lot of fun. That's what we do together. We study together. We spend all our free time at the ice rink. Ice rink is the place where you can play ice hockey. Now, ice hockey is the name of the sport. Ice rink is the place where you play ice hockey and we want to play for our local team one day local team the team that represents our city read again and complete the table below about rob's best friend what is the name of rob's best friend it's marco and he is 13 years old his appearance what he looks like the height is he tall or short now height is the noun high is the adjective high or tall he is short and slim that's the build 
chubby or slim, he is slim. The hair, curly brown hair. The eyes, brown eyes. The personality, shy, clever, and helpful. The interests, the things that he enjoys doing in his free time. He enjoys sports. The things that Rob and Marco do together, they play at the ice rink and they hang out and they study together. Now copy and complete the table above. Use the same table from above with information about your best friend. What is the name of your best friend? His name is Hassan, he is 15, he is tall, he is slim, he's got short dark hair, and he's got green eyes, he is friendly, outgoing, and active. Hassan and I hang out with friends, and we play computer games, and we hang out with friends. Now talk with a partner. Ask the questions. Who is your best friend? Hassan. How old is Hassan? 15. What does he look like? You ask this question if you want to ask about the appearance. What he looks like. What does he look like? He is tall and slim, short dark hair, green eyes. What is he like? What is he like means the personality. What is he like? Is he friendly? Is he active? Well, he is outgoing and he's got a lot of friends. What does he do in his free time? He hangs out with his friends. What do you do together? We enjoy playing computer games together. Now read and make sentences by putting the words in the correct order. In the correct order means which word should come first. Now you should know something about word order in English. It's not the same as in Arabic. As an example, we say, he is a beautiful baby. He is a beautiful baby. Now beautiful is an adjective and baby is a noun. In English, we put the adjectives before the noun beautiful baby in arabic nouns come first noun and then adjective do you get it so it's not the same or we could say he's got beautiful eyes his got is short for he has got beautiful eyes not he's got eyes beautiful no beautiful eyes adjective and then noun here is a different structure, subject, verb, and then object. Now, subjects and objects are also nouns or pronouns. We can say the baby reads magazines, right? So the subject and the object are also nouns or pronouns. This baby is beautiful. We could use the verb be like am, is, or are before an adjective. The baby is beautiful. All babies are beautiful. Babies are beautiful. Now, we have hair, which is a noun, and we have straight, which is an adjective. So, the adjective should go first. Straight hair. Bruce has got straight hair. Is outgoing. Is beautiful. My brother is outgoing. This time we have a subject and a verb and an object. Anna does the washing up every day. We could put every day first. Every day. Anna does the washing up. That is also correct. Lovely is an adjective, which means beautiful. Kate is a beautiful girl. Kate is a lovely girl. 
subject, verb, object. Andrew surfs the net in the evenings. We could put in the evenings first. In the evenings, Andrew surfs the net. That is also correct. Now write two paragraphs about your best friend. Use the information from activity C and follow the plan below. This is the information from activity C. Use it. Write two paragraphs. In paragraph 1, say who your best friend is. His name, his age, his appearance, what he looks like, his hair, his eyes. In paragraph 2, you write about the personality, if he is active, outgoing, and the things that you do together. Now, group relevant information together. Relevant information, information that are related to each other, like the appearance. You put the build, the height, the hair, the eyes, you put all of them together in one paragraph. First, go to the workbook, page 126, and complete the writing plan. Now, we are on page 17. Let's go to page 126. Now, here is the information from activity C. Use it to complete the plan. The same information. Now, we are ready to write the paragraphs. Two paragraphs. One, my best friend's name is Hassan. He is 15 years old and he is tall and slim. Hassan has got dark brown hair and green eyes. Now, paragraph two. Hassan is very outgoing and active. He's got a lot of friends. He likes hanging out with his friends in his free time. And when we are together, we enjoy playing computer games. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. I will leave you now with the workbook exercises. I'll catch you in the next video, inshallah. Goodbye.